today I'm gonna bring my Tomorrowland bag because we're gonna buy a locker so we're gonna leave inside a sweater this is my raincoat because it's expected to rain we don't know how much so I'm just bringing it anyways I'm gonna keep my Tomorrowland fanny pack with me with some glasses some Carmex and this is the shirt there's gonna be sort of like my sweater that matches the pants so it has to be done so this is pretty much all I'm bringing yeah, and like of course you know wallet with your ID it's very important that I forgot to mention that I'm bringing my earplugs because you don't want to get so deaf after the festival I'm, all <laughs> I'm already I'm already half dead but we're trying we're trying on the way to take the train to go to Mysteryland because this is a three-day festival and if you do camping you get Friday, Saturday, Sunday we're not staying at the camping this time so we're only doing Saturday, Sunday so it starts, it opens the doors in five minutes so we're gonna get early and we're gonna discover how this place is and we're gonna show you everything if you heard the slogan yesterday history, today is a gift, tomorrow is a mystery it's not actually from Tomorrowland, it's originally from Mysteryland and this is their 30th anniversary so it's been there's been 30 editions of Mysteryland and this is our first time we know that it's gonna be amazing everybody has said great things about Mysteryland and it's been 30 years for a reason so we can't wait to find out at least they tell you in advance so. hi oh lovely thank you Thank you. so we're gonna find out together
so it's pretty easy to chop them up if you need them so that's fair enough and when she's toasted two tokens Last night it was a great first day we came back in less than an hour so pretty much the festival finished before 11 p.m. and from the festival we had a short walk towards the shuttle bus and it was pretty pretty straightforward and the shuttle bus left us at <laughs> the train station in Port. So the shuttle bus left us at the train station and from there it was just a less than 10 minute ride until our hotel. So by half 12 we were already home. So we have a good night of sleep, which is great. And we're ready for the second day. It's looking pretty rainy for the whole day. So of course we're marrying our raincoats today as usual. This festival season hasn't been the driest for us. We're ready to go and we're just gonna do the same thing as yesterday. Go to a train station, then take the shuttle bus, then go to Mr. Elan day two. I think they make a couple of festivals here, look. They're all festivals. <laughs> Mr. Elan day two. Apparently the stairs couldn't survive the color sticker so it's a bit more dark today matches my outfit it was pretty easy as well it only took us like what less than 10 minutes to go to security less than 10 minutes so we're super friendly fast security. They don't super even check friendly me. yeah yeah they didn't check his backpack i guess we look like nice people
of the evening at the main stage because we're gonna see we're gonna watch Don Diablo, Alesso and Harwell which we haven't seen in eight years. Time flies. So we'll see because this main stage looks a bit too crowded.